as plan versus as built it's a technique works by comparing the total project duration as planned with as built project duration and let me tell you what i mean by as built as built means the actuals when you update your program when you make update for your schedule this is called as built so we are, we are comparing your baseline schedule to the uh, progress schedule so this technique works by comparing the total project duration as planned with as built project duration including the affected activities with delays it means that when we are comparing the actual schedule we are including on it on, on our progress the events that we have and its impact to the schedule this method has some advantage and disadvantage so it is inexpensive it is fast to apply and doesn't need complex analysis however this method cannot deal with concurrent delays it is not applicable for complicated projects and may give misleading results and in order to shortcut the argument about this method let us go and talk in this slide this method simply give you uh, the picture of how your project performed uh, comparing or uh, uh, taking into consideration the planned uh, process here so we have two parts the plant which you can see in blue bar and the actual and we also have here the delays so we put the plant we put the actual and we show the delays to the client or the consultant so if our plan duration was 18 days and our actual duration is 25 days so the days delayed equal to actual minus planned which 25 minus 18 equals 7 it looks like it is simple so let me show you another figure which give a better picture of what we are talking about so if we have here a baseline and we have here the update this yellow is the delays and this is the co contractual compilation date this is the original compilation date and this is the actual compilation date based on the delays here we have the, the variance between these two dates is our claim so as planned versus as built it is a very simple very straightforward uh, method you just put your uh, planned or the approved baseline and you start uh, uh, showing the client the actual and try to convince the client that these delays are because of the client not because of you in that case you need to have a good record records you need to have a very strong records uh, you may have it in your updated schedule or weekly and monthly reports so you need to have it this method only works for simple uh, projects so if you have complicated project I think this method will not work and as we said at the beginning of this course there is no right or no wrong in this area we have a gray area here where you have to find what is correct and what is better to do or whatever better uh, right to do so as blend versus as built i think we covered it now so let's go and see 